And what are we talking about now? Are we're we doing it? About... I'm frightened. I'm a little bit worried. Well, that's why they're there in Europe. I know, here. but there's definitely no bees here, is there? <laughs> no, because we used to no. have the this morning bees, didn't we? Where did they go? They went in there. They, don't they do made that. that honey. They made don't that do honey. It. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. We are talking about beekeepers. Beekeepers, yeah. Not just any beekeeper. This is Britain's youngest beekeeper. He is just five years of age. His name is Archie. And uh, he has become Britain's youngest certified beekeeper following in the beekeeping tradition in his family. Uh, because here we see him now with his grandmother, Lorraine, there beside them. And they are in Hampshire. Uh, Lorraine and Archie, uh, a very good morning to you. Morning, Eamon. Morning, Rylan. Morning, Lorraine. Hello. Hi, Archie. Um, it's so lovely to speak to you both. We were, we were looking at this story this morning. And Lorraine, I want to start with you first, because this is something you've been doing for quite a long time, isn't it? It is. Well, I've been doing it for about nine, ten years. I started by um, thinking that I was just going to have a couple of hives at the end of the garden. And, of course, uh, that's not the case at all. It's a lot more work than that. Um, and joined an association and eventually um, uh, a friend and I, uh, a beekeeper, Kevin Findlater and I set up Surrey Bees Training uh, to provide training for new and existing beekeepers. And it sort of exploded from there um, into uh, Surrey Bees CIO, which is a membership of over 150 members and uh, the training company as well. So it's been very successful, but a lot of hard work, but really enjoy it. Well, here's yeah. the thing I can't believe, just uh, how good Archie is for his age. And, and the reason you're, you're miles away from your uh, hives, uh, they're, they're behind you. Um, Archie, why have you to stay away? Do, do they sting? No. <laughs> Why are you dressed like a bumblebee? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. And have they never stung you? It's your you? favourite colour, isn't it? Have they stung you? No. You see, the thing is, Archie, yeah, Ry Ryland's, a bit, Ryland's a bit frightened of, of bees. Can you tell him why you like them? Um, I like them because they make me loads of honey. Oh, OK, hang on, he's a, he's a little Alan Sugar, he's a businessman, this one. Because, Lorraine, am I right in saying, obviously the bees make the honey and, and wax and things like that, and, and Archie's got his little sideline there of his little honey business. Yes, he's, um, he's got his own little uh, honey here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. We've actually uh, got so a jar here. I'm he just opening it up his now. Own honey. We're going to have a little try of it because Archie yep. has very kindly <laughs> sent us some of this honey. Um, and Lorraine, what I was quite um, impressed about, there you go, um, what I was really impressed about is that Archie's actually a certified beekeeper now. And am I right in saying you have to take a test, which is normally for adults? It is. So there is a, a basic, what they call a basic assessment, British beekeepers' basic assessment in uh, beekeeping. And then there is a junior uh, level as well. Um, so he had to keep a diary of his beekeeping. He had to um, create a project from the syllabus. He had to learn a lot of uh, his, uh, of the, the information about bees, the functions of the hive, the functions of the... Um, casts about disease. Um, he um, this he had to create a project. So he he um, we pe we we um, put together a paper mache of a varroa mite. So this is a life size varroa mite uh, is that, that crab? feeds on the bees. Um, it feeds. No, no, it's a varroa mite. It feeds on the bees. It feeds on the bees. There we go. Oh, look. Right. So and that's then a, that's a bad uh, this thing. is his book. This is his project book that he put together and his diary. He then had to go through a colony of bees with a, an assessor and answer questions and then sit down with the assessor and answer various questions about swarm um, and how, they, how yeah. the bees make honey, Lorraine, Lorraine, what can their I, occupations can I ask are. You, yeah, get that. Can I ask you about your honey or, or about Archie's honey here? Am I imagining it or does it taste like grass? What's, what's the flavour of it? Here, have a dip in Sorry? that. The, the honey, what's the pervading flavour? Flavour. Yeah. 
Well, it's floral, so we, uh, we oh. it could be anything from around here. So it could be blackberry. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. There's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of blackberry around here, a lot of trees. There's a little bit of lime. Um, there's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so there's a lot of different floral, uh, clover there's around here, so there's a lot of different well, uh, flavours in there. I've got to say, I think it's absolutely it's lovely. Dense, it's quite a deep flavour. Mm. It is lovely, and it's so lovely yeah. to see children so into something. So into something. And doing so well at it. And Archie, before you buzz off, is there anything you want to say to us? What about pollination? Do you want to tell them why bees are important? Go on then. Bees are important because they pollinate our food, crops and trees. And we need to look after them, don't Very we? Very good, we do. Yeah. Smart lad, yeah. and thank goodness you're out there looking after them. Enjoy the rest of your day in your meadow there. Uh, that's Archie Cridland. Uh, yeah, and has it's not at all a render into his grandma. Bye -bye. Archie's Bye, Bye guys. Be beekeeper. Thank you so That's much. Good. That honey is nice, though. It's lovely. I know what you mean by that grass taste, but it's like floral taste, isn't it? It is. It's just like grass. Beautiful. Uh, like, right. yeah. you, know when, you know when you talk to producers and say, he's only five, can he talk? Oh, he's wonderful. He never shuts up. <laughs> never shuts up. Are you sure, honestly, we have from chat? He's just never Love keeps quiet. Love it down the line. But he's obviously a smart boy. Oh, he knows what yeah. he's doing. Hello, look, he's, he's sold about 60,000 of them. Yeah. He's laughing. Yeah.